people are confused. They don't know what's going on. What does this mean for our refunds? What does this mean for our returns? In any other year at this tax service office in Carolina Forest, people stopping by to file their taxes would just be starting to pick up, but that's not the case this year. Instead, Samantha Slapnick is busy answering questions from people wanting to know what's going on. I really don't even know what to expect because a lot of people have heard that there are delays and they think that they can't file. Even though the IRS won't start accepting and processing returns until the end of the month, instead of January 15th, Slapnick says that shouldn't stop you from getting forms filled out now. It affects us dramatically because people are used to coming in early, filing early, and it's usually the ones that are getting the big refunds. Um, they usually have children, they're getting refunds anywhere from five to $8,000. And for some of her customers, that money is crucial. For this time of year at the beach, it's those people that who are already struggling to pay their rent, um, to put groceries on the table and pay their utilities because you know most of our industries have scaled down for the season.